everybody. Today is Monday. I hope you're having a great, great Monday. I have on my safari hat today because we're going to read a story of Noah's Ark. And I thought Noah kind of went on the safari when he was riding in his boat. So I thought the, the hat was fitting. Uh, today is Monday. We have a guest reader. We have music. It's going to be a great day. I'm excited for everything. Uh, so first, my shout outs are to Allison and Hannah. Oh, girls. I miss seeing your smiling faces every Sunday. You two are so willing to try any activities, play any of our games, sing our songs. I just love your attitudes that you have in CC Kids. You two rock. So I hope you're having a great, wonderful time at home with your mom and your dad and your baby sister Mallory. I hope you guys are just having the greatest time. So I miss you. I love you. And you guys are my shout out. So hi, Allison. Hi, Anna. Hope you have a great day. Mwah. All right, now we're going to move on to our story. We are still reading from the Adventure Bible Storybook by Catherine De DeVries and Jim Madsen. I say her name differently every time in hopes that one of these times I say it right. Here you go, Adventure Bible Storybook. So we are going to read about Noah. And moms and dads, if you want to read about Noah with your boys and girls, you can find this in Genesis 6 through 9. I know a swayed in his hammock, drifting in and out of sleep. The rain was coming down hard now, and the thunder sounded close. Nor could hear the squawks, oinks, wolves, moos, baas, and roars of all the animals in his noisy neighborhood. Okay, let's do that together. Are you ready? So he could hear the squawk, squawk, squawk. You do it. Squawk, squawk. Oink, 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 oink. I'm not very good at pig. You guys probably do pigs better. Can you do a pig better? Wolves, wolves, woof, woof, woof. Oh, how's your dog sound? What's your wolf sound like? A woof, woof. Moos, woof, moo. You do a moo. Ba of the sheep, ba. And roars of like the lions and the tigers. Of all the animals in his noisy neighborhood, it wasn't easy living here. Suddenly, the earth lurched. And Noah fell out of his hammock. It was time to milk the cows anyways. Even though it was dark, Noah knew exactly where he was. He heard his wife's footsteps, her basket of eggs clutched under his back, clutched his back as she walked by. Whoops, sorry, she said. Breakfast will be ready soon if we can keep these eggs in the pan. The storm is sure strong today. So there's Noah and he fell out of his hammock. And she's making breakfast, but she said the eggs fell out of the pan before because the storm is so hard because they're going back and forth and back and forth. Ooh, I don't know, I think I might get seasick if I do that. Noah looked forward to the day when he would walk on steady ground again and see horses galloping across golden fields, monkeys leap from tree to tree, and turtles meander through the green grass. That's what he's dreaming about. He's stuck on that ark. Remember that he had to go on the ark with two of every animal, right? Two lions, two tigers, two horses, two birds, two monkeys, two orangutans, two sheep, two turtles, two of everything. And he, so he is dreaming about the time when the grass is there and they're not in that boat together. Because that would be a long time to be in that boat. But even though he was sick and tired of being in the boat, he still praised God because God had saved him, right? Saved him and all the animals on the ark. He says, thank you, God, clasping his rough, worn hands together. Thank you for promising to save me and my family and these animals. The first beams of morning light streamed into the dark ark. A dove flew down from the rafters and perched on the windowsill. Soon the dove would fly out of that window and never come back because it would find land and so would the ark and the new adventure in God's world would begin. So there's Noah praising God, thanking him for everything he's done for him, right? It says, the ark was huge. It was longer than a football field and taller than five-story office buildings. And then in Genesis 9, 13 and 15, it says, 
I have put my rainbow in the clouds. The waters will never become a flood to destroy all earth again. So when we see a rainbow, we can remember that God promised after the flood that he would never destroy the earth again. So every time we see the rainbow, we can think of Noah and how he built that huge ark. It was tall and long and huge. We can remember that he built that. And that, he's, that God saved him and his family and the animals on the ark during the flood. And then we remember that God loves us. And he loves you and 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 you. He loves you. And he's always there for you. It's true. All right, let's pray. Are we ready? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you for all of the boys and girls, all of the adults that are watching with them. Thank you for having them tune in and listen to this story with us. Thank you so much for loving us, Lord. Please be with each of us. Give us health and happiness and patience and kindness during this time. In your name, amen. Amen. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are here. So enjoy your song, enjoy your story, and I will see you back at the end. Bye. Hey CC Kids, it's Mike, and Rachel, and Hannah, and we're going to sing a song for you today called God Made Me. Yes, God made me. Yes, God made me. He made the smallest bug and the tallest tree. Yes, God made me. <laughs> Hello friends, I'm so glad to be with you again. I am privileged because Miss Sarah asked me to read to you again. And last time I saw Miss Sarah had a very fun hat. So I decided to wear my fun hat. This is my fun hat. It says, filled with the Holy Spirit. It's okay, my head is not really on fire, it's just a hat. But it is a pretty fun hat. So I wanted to read to you again for story time. And I have three great books. Here is the first book. Dun, 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 dun. See, you guys can see it. It says, God Made Us All. Moms and Dads, this is another frolic book. Um, I read a frolic book last time as well. Frolic is a fabulous series. They make both board books and uh, bigger books as well. So this is one of the board books uh, as an example for you. So God made us all. So yeah, look how happy they look. That's little Joe and Yuri. We'll meet them. <gasps> little bird. Big goat. God made us all. Little eyes, big eyes. God made us all.
Little nose. Big nose. What's the other smelling the flower? You know what comes next. God made us all. Little feet. Big feet. Can you say what happens next? God made us all. And look, see, they're drawing pictures of each other. Do you see that? They're drawing little pictures. There's little the bird. Her name is Yuri. And Joe is the goat. They're drawing pictures of each other. In the sand. Little friend. Big friend. God made us all. Oh, they look so happy. Oh, that's such a good book. I like that book. Because God did make us all. And what's kind of neat, parents, if you're interested, uh, they even have uh, like uh, faith steps and uh, encouraging uh, tidbits, making faith connections and stuff like that. So it's a really, really great series. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's uh, written by Jennifer Hilton and Kristen McCurry. And it's illustrated by Mike garten and he does all of them they do all of them and there is a fabulous uh, you can find that spark house family uh, sparkhouse.org so if you're interested da -da -da, this was a great book it teaches all of us that god made us even though some of us have big noses and some of us have little feet and some of us have big huge eyes and some of us look different shapes and sizes but god made us all oh we love this book in my house that's a good one all right here's another one this is a classic out there this is by eric carl a fabulous children's author he writes a tons and tons of books uh, we have a whole host of his books thank you to eric carl for the amazing work that he does this is called 10 little rubber ducks this is a great one this one is on a regular nightly routine. Okay, here we go. Oops, sorry. Chuckity chuck chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks. One after another. One after another. The little rubber ducks are painted. Bill's red. Eyes blue. Then they are packed ten to a box, and off they go. See the truck? Vroom. Off they go. Those rubber ducks in the boxes. Whoa. They get put on a boat. See? They get loaded onto a cargo ship. See them putting it on? Hello! Calls the captain. Where are those rubber ducks going? The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries. To far away countries. Oh no, what's happening? Oh my goodness, can you see? Can you see? The boat is rocking and rolling. Suddenly, a storm churns the waters into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea, whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and ten little rubber ducks fall out. 
Ten rubber ducks overboard! Shouts the captain. Ten rubber ducks overboard! Oh my goodness, do you see? They're in the ocean. What's gonna happen? They're in the ocean. After some time, the storm calms down. The ten little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky. Water and sky. The ten little rubber ducks start to drift apart. The first little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east, and a seal barks at it. The beautiful pictures. The third little rubber duck drifts north, and a polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south, and a flamingo stares at it. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left, and a pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right, and a turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up, and octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down, a seagull screeches at it. Caw, caw. No, that's kind of a crow, I suppose. What, what does a seagull noise sound like? Can you sound like a seagull? Can you make a seagull noise? I don't know what noise they make. Oh, here's a big one. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way, and a whale sings to it. Can you make whale noises? That's a big whale. That's a very big whale. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky. Only water and sky. The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Oh, maybe he's found some new friends. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. What's going to happen? At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Ah, oh, this is so good. You see them all, they're in the nest together. Isn't that great? Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck.
Yay! I love that one. The little rubber duck finds a home. It's kind of like how God adopts us. God takes us into God's family, just like the little rubber duck found a new family. That's what God does for each one of us. We become part of God's family. Isn't that wonderful? All right. A little the theology for you in the moment. Here we go. Here is the book that the staff have been encouraging me to read. Martin Luther. The Life of Martin Luther. And this is particularly exciting, everybody, because this is a pop-up book. Do you guys know what pop-up books are? I love pop-up books. The illustration uh, and paper design is copyright. Oh, oh, man. How do I say this? Agostino Trini. This is another Sparkhouse family book for those who are curious. Here we go. This is a pop-up book. The Life of Martin Luther. Dun, 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 dun. See, there he is. You see him with the, oh my goodness, the trees and the owl. Oh, oh my goodness, what's happening? The lightning, do you see the lightning? Many years ago, there lived a young man named Martin Luther. Young Martin was studying to be a lawyer. But one day he got caught in a terrible storm. He was so afraid that he promised God he would become a monk if he escaped the storm. The storm died down, and Martin Luther kept his promise. Martin Luther, oh no. Hold on. Hold on, boys and girls. Are we still working? Oh, my computer almost shut down, everybody. We almost had an accident. We're still okay. Let's try it again. Martin Luther. Here we go. Martin Luther devoted his life to God. He began studying the Bible where he read for himself what it said about having faith in Jesus. In reading, Martin discovered the very good news that we are saved by faith. Martin Luther didn't like what the church was teaching about faith and good works. He especially didn't like the teaching that Christians could go to heaven faster by paying money to the church. So he wrote down 95 theses explaining his disagreements and then shared them with others. <gasps> oh, I like this one. Not everyone agreed with Martin. Luther's ideas... They were so mad that they brought him before the Holy Roman Emperor and asked Martin to take everything back, he had said. But he refused, and he stood by his beliefs. Yay, Martin! Martin Luther, Luther's life was in danger, and on the way back to his home, the carriage he was riding in was surrounded by riders. Were they enemies? No! The riders were friends. They came to take Martin away to a castle where he could live and be safe. See, there he is in the carriage. Those are good guys. Ooh, I was nervous for a second. Oh, look at that. That's called the printing press. Martin Luther kept writing his ideas about God, grace, and faith. His writings were printed and spread far and wide. He even translated the Bible into German so that ordinary people in his country could read it and think about it for themselves. <gasps> Look! Da -da -da. Martin Luther inspired a reformation of the church. Many women and men followed in Martin's footsteps by introducing new ideas and big changes. Even today, Christians reform the church as we read the Bible, listen to the Holy Spirit, and follow Jesus in faith. This little guy got pushed down. There we go. Look! Today, we continue to do what Martin did so long ago. We continue to follow Jesus and learn from the Bible and strive to be the 
best Christian people we can be. Ta -da! There is the life of Martin Luther. Oh, I love it. So much fun. So much fun. Well, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having fun with me and reading those books together. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Know that all of Christ Church misses you and loves you and is excited to see you again when we get to see you. It's fun to see you on the other side of the screen. Thanks for joining me and reading today. And keep watching Miss Sarah's wonderful videos. We'll see you all soon. God bless you and bye-bye. Guys, ah, that was such a fun story time, right? Oh, Mike, Rachel, and Hannah, your songs are just awesome. We love them. Thank you so much. And Pastor Andrew, great choices today. Oh, those books were so good. We also love Air Carl. But Martin Luther, that was my favorite. We loved it. Excellent choice. Two thumbs up from the Tibbetts household. Thank you, guys. Uh, thanks for everybody for being here. I hope you guys had a great story time and have a great week. We will see you again on Wednesday and Friday this week for story time. Uh, there's prayer times on Wednesdays and Fridays as well. There is uh, C3 with Pastor Andrew on Tuesday nights and Thursday mornings. He's doing a lot of really great stuff. So have your moms and dads check it out. They would love it. Uh, older kids, there's Impact on Wednesday and Friday as well. So lots of stuff going on. If you didn't get a chance to watch Church on Sunday, make sure you go back and watch that. It was a great uh, Living Room Easter series. Great songs, great message. All, all around a great service. So if you didn't get a chance to check that out, make sure you check that out as well. So I hope you guys have a great week. We love you guys. We miss you. And we cannot wait to see you guys again. So have a great day. Bye.